play viewers. I decided to enjoy the morning before the rain comes and take a little bicycle ride. How far have I gone so far? Four and a half miles. So I bicycled four and a half miles to Fort Monroe to see it, play the tourist for a little bit, and I've already bicycled around a little bit just to get the lay of the land. And then I've come to this very interesting, uh, there's only so many ways to get to this fort. It's, it's, it's artificially uh, enclosed by water. So you can see it's a, a moat. It's not too often you get to see a moat on Periscope. And hi Divine, hi Karen. No, no, I'm not coming to Yorktown. I'm in Hampton. I'm in Hampton for, for about a week. So you don't need to see Fort, Fort Monroe. You've already been here. But this is very interesting, this, uh, this access point. I bicycled through it and had to duck. And then I get to the other side and I'm coming back and then I see a sign, bicycles please get off your bicycle and walk. So I'm trying to get my bicycle started. I'm gonna push it through. Now I just realized we're probably gonna get cut off. So I'm gonna, gonna hang out here for a second and then go through really fast. And hopefully we're not cut off for too long if we are cut off at all. Good morning, Divine. So, here I go. I'm going to race through the, the bulwark of the fort and see if I come out the other side still uh, transmitting. Ready? Here we go. Oh, still getting hearts. That's good. I have a signal in the stones. Yeah, more storms coming. And I'm through the other side. People are still still jumping in. And this is what I just came through. So I was bicycling through here. And this is going in that direction. And that looked fine. But then I came to the low bridge, the low arch. Now, unfortunately, the museum is closed. Opens at 10.30, Tuesday through Sunday. Lift for maps. So this is pretty a cool place. It's uh, obviously no longer a fort. Uh, Robin, have you been to Fort Monroe? Snowing like crazy, crazy, Karen. It shouldn't be snowing. Oh, I was hoping to find this. I'm going to take a chance. There's nobody around. I'm just going to leave my bicycle against this lamp post. And let's go up. This is what I was hoping to find. I've never been here before, so this is all new to me, just like it might be to some of you. Now I'm going to get to the top. There's quite a wind howling. So let's see how we do. I didn't wear my microphone. It was too much trouble to, to pocket it. Eight to 12 inches, that's crazy. Oh, apparently uh, 67 to 79. The, the dog, given the name, Tippy. This is a pet cemetery, Ginger. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, there's nobody here. This area is completely deserted, so... Uh, gun emplacements. As they say, check it out. Let's see if I can get a view. This direction. I was wondering if I could get up here or not. Now, this is a pet cemetery. Interesting reuse of uh, of gun emplacements. So spring break. Okay, so here's a here's the view out to the uh, Chesapeake Bay. Oh, I'm shooting into the sun. You can't see anything. I might have to try to find another way up and bicycle over to a different different area. Oh, here's a here's a better view of this. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, because I can't see it too well. But you can see here's the moat. There's uh, water access. I'm not sure why you'd have doors in the side of the fort for the moat. I don't know where Fort Williams is. Fortunately, the wind is not, not howling here. Let's go this way. We can look inside the fort, inside the grounds. Hard to imagine people would be up here manning cannons. Oh, look at all this. 
Holy cow. I hope you can, can you guys see this all right? It looks like the contrast is, is lousy because I'm shooting into the sun, but I'll turn around in a few minutes. Here's a view off to the left. I have no idea. Whoever's, whoever's watching from Yorktown, tell us a little bit about what used to go on here. Looks all right, okay, good. So I'll go up to this next uh, corner and, and turn back. This is just a short scope, I guess. Well, this is, even this is interesting. Here's the engineer in me. Uh, that's probably lead to hold the, the stones together. The capstones. Yeah, in our, our army base it was uh, closed, there I saw a sign. The uh, sign said it was closed in 2011. Obviously it wasn't a fort with cannons for quite a long time. Whatever these things were, they must have been pretty, uh, pretty tall that were mounted on these pins. And now it's a pet cemetery. A poodle. My buddy Cena lives nearby and I'm sure she's been here 50 times. Listen to that flag flapping. And there's hardly any breeze right where, where I am. That's good. I was out by the water a few minutes ago, and that was enough of that with the wind. Look at, look at that wind. That's fierce wind. I had to get back. It's about to rain. I have to bicycle back about three and a half miles. Oh, I'll go. I keep saying I'm going to turn around, but no, I'm going to go just a little bit farther, and then you'll have a view. Good morning. Then you get to walk back with me, too, and have a better... Better scenario. Yeah, definitely a bad storm. It's it's clouding up. I'm glad I was able to get out this morning before the uh, the weather came in. Well, you know, Yorktown is is not an unpopulated location. It's not unusual that somebody else on Periscope might be in a in a busier part of the world. But I'm just passing through on a boat. All right, now we might get some wind up here at this observation point. So on the right, oh, there's a ship just going in. That's how you get into Norfolk and Portsmouth. And over here is how you get out to sea. That's a little bit of the Chesapeake Bay. And there's more, more Chesapeake Bay over there, but the trees are in the way, so you can't see it. And there's a lighthouse. Obscure. So, there's a corresponding fort on the other side, and right in this direction is a is a, an interstate highway going underneath the water. Uh, I think I'm going to drive. Flying flying doesn't uh, really help too much. Here's someone coming to. Looks like he might be cutting the grass or just listening to something. So interesting. There's all these air conditioning units on top over here. You have Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. So, obviously, something's going on underneath all those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's about 16 air conditioning units on top of that, uh, that part of the wall. When am I going? I have to be in Buffalo on Sunday, Karen. So I'm not sure when I'm going. It's a long trip. So now I get to walk back with the better lighting angle. You see, some of these gun emplacements are, are decommissioned, they're just concrete slabs. I thought I was able to climb up here. I found some steps. Since I don't know my way around, I was hoping to find a way up. And there's a lot of buildings that all look fairly unused. Uh, there's a sign when you come in the gate, closed between midnight and five. So I kind of think probably pe too many people aren't living here anymore. Maybe that man's just listening to music. 
So oh, here's, here's, here's just one air conditioner up on this, this section. I'm kind of curious what's underneath all those other ones. Something, something worth preserving, obviously. Keeping dry. Obviously there's a lot of uh, dampness. Yeah, bad storms today. Maybe tomorrow's okay, then more storms in a few more days. Yeah, it's real pretty here in, in a developed way. Uh, sort of an old-timey, old-timey developed way. Those light-colored bricks are sort of give me the idea that it's that it's uh, old. This place must have been very, very busy in its uh, heyday. Can you imagine horses and carriages and people dressed up in in woolen uniforms and practicing in the heat, shooting all those guns? Uh, it's a little interesting that the guns, the guns face. Face all these buildings. I kind of wonder if the the buildings came after these guns were decommissioned. One mistake would cause uh, cause some upset. And if you had a misfire. So it's too bad I'm I'm here a little bit too early to get inside the the museum, but at least you get a peek at this uh, interesting spot, historical spot. Try to imagine what it was like a century or two ago when this was an important military installation. Well, there are, there's a little bit of activity up here. There random people in my video. Good morning. That dog got its exercise coming up the stairs. So obviously this, uh, this corner had a much heavier gun. This one has, has two tracks. The, the, uh, these metal things are, are basically like railroad tracks and the, the gun would swivel on, uh, on metal wheels so you could aim it. But look at all these buildings. I, I think the, uh, the fort's a lot older than these buildings. These buildings came later. I mean, it got, got converted into more of a, a military base for personnel. So here is where I came up. I'll go down again. I'm not sure if there's much to see. We can, we can find out. I think the best part was was just just behind us. Is that Mindy sneaked in? Hi, Mindy. I don't think I've ever scoped my little bicycle before. Usually, I'm on it. This bicycle folds up and fits in my boat. What state? This is Virginia. It's my little bicycle that folds up. Built in 1819, construction started and for 15 years. It was used in the Civil War, taken over by the, the Union. Abraham Lincoln was here in 1862. Uh, and that's, uh, I think there was a slave, uh, a slave encampment here where they put pr the, the prisoner encampment of war. Three-inch ordnance rifle, model 1861, made in 1863. Fired for a nine-pound shell, 2.25 miles. Did I ever? Uh, sorry, I missed that comment. I was reading the sign. Do I ever take what? I saw. I didn't see that. Someone else writes something, and I'll I'll go back. Everyone's just enjoying the view. Z, thank you. Do 
Do I take selfies? No, I don't take selfies. I know what I look like. I can look in the mirror. But I don't. I almost never look in the mirror. Now, if you're asking about if you ever see my face on Periscope, the answer is no, because I want to show you something interesting. If you want to see faces on Periscope, all you have to do is go to the random list, and 99 out of 100 scopes will be people talking to you probably in their bedroom. So if you want that, you're in the wrong place. I give you a little bit of uh, something interesting. I Hopefully something interesting to see. So now I'm bicycling. Fortunately, there's not much traffic. Oh, I'm going to end the scope up here at a gate where that car came in from. I think we've just seen the best part where the cannons used to be. And all these buildings are just... Uh, not quite as in, entrancing as, as the older part of the fort. Yeah, red light. No one's coming. There's hardly anybody here. But I'm going to stop and give you this uh, final view. Yeah, if you're a very regular viewer, you might have seen my face once or twice. So this is how you, uh, how you come in. They don't give you, uh, even for cars, they don't give, uh, give you much of a chance. So everybody, I'm going to scope out. Thanks for watching for a few minutes, and I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this cool place. Yeah, this is, this is Hampton. This is Fort Monroe in Hampton. So if you just joined and asking where I am, it's, it's too late. I'm scoping out. I just went around the top of the, uh, the fort. So see you all later. Take care, everybody.